Tulsa is a relatively new agency. We're only about five years old. Uh, whereas NASA just finished, just celebrated its 60th birthday. Uh, so you have a great uh, variety of experience uh, between uh, the Polish Space Agency and NASA, but very similar visions, very similar commitments to uh, the pursuit of science and knowledge of our universe and understanding and sharing uh, that knowledge with uh, the rest of the country and the rest of the world. And I think there are opportunities we're already seeing for collaboration between um, a country like Poland and the United States on very, very important projects. Uh, for example, on the Mars Curiosity rover, there are sensors that were built here in Poland that are on the Curiosity rover. On the Kret lander, uh, on the um, InSight lander, uh, there is a Kret mole uh, penetrator that was built here in Poland and is now on the Martian surface. So there's many, many opportunities for uh, collaboration between you know, a relatively young, smaller agency and a long-established, larger agency working in partnership for common uh, purposes. Well, a lot of these things would not be possible without public-private partnerships. So. For example, uh, on the space station, you have many, many uh, uh, activities, experiments, transportation, uh, habitation, all these things come from public-private partnerships. In the context of uh, the Martian missions, there are university-supported uh, uh, experiments for that. There's uh, experiments and activities that are supported by international partnerships, some of which involve companies. So, for example, we talked about the, the Kret, the mole penetrator. Well, that was built by a Polish company. That wasn't built by the Polish government. That was built by a Polish company, provided to the German Space Research Agency, and uh, then sent off for a launch by NASA to Mars. That, that's a, you know, another example of public-private partnerships, which can help both the government and non-government, industry, academia, to achieve the goals that they want to achieve. Uh, and synergize their capabilities. Well, space is hard. Um, space is very difficult. There's a lot of failure. Uh, sometimes people die. Uh, sometimes there's horrific property damage. Um, and sometimes you have just tremendous success. And that's what you're shooting for every time. But there's a lot that, that needs to be done and that people do, and that uh, the people who are involved in space pursuits do pay attention to in order to minimize and mitigate those risks. Um, we do it both financially with insurance and uh, liability waivers and uh, arrangements that try to say to the partners, we're in this together. We're not going to sue you if everything goes away. Uh, and you're not going to sue us if everything goes away. But from a technical perspective, there's that, that risk mitigation is just as important. So what do you do? You test and you test and you test and you test and you repeat everything and, and, and you go to the root cause of any problem that you find and you don't take more chances than, than you have to uh, and you don't take um, less time than you have to. Because when you hurry uh, and you're in a rush and you're not paying attention, that's when people die. That's when mistakes happen. I, I see great opportunities for Poland, not, not just in sensors like, you know, uh, the infrared sensors that they gave to for curiosity or uh, in penetrators and things like that. Uh, lots of robotic uh, capabilities here in Poland. Lots of sensor uh, capabilities, both remote sensors and on-surface uh, sensors. Uh, I think there's opportunities for you guys are doing work in uh, safer, greener propellants even, okay? Um, you have all sorts of institutions across Poland that are working on uh, improving usage for earth science data uh, and better ways to acquire it. Um, capabilities in space situational awareness, space surveillance and tracking, um, near-earth object detection. 
Uh, Poland has wonderful telescopic, ground-based telescopic capabilities. Poland has great uh, capabilities in all realms of um, instruments and capabilities that support spacecraft and even, I think, soon space launch vehicles. So, and space habitation, I think, will be important. So, I think there's some great opportunities. No, bardzo się cieszę, że, że mam e, możliwość e, współpracować e, razem e, z Polsa, e, Polska Agencja Kosmiczna. E, oni są wspaniałe ludzie. E, oni mają e, zdolność, e, e, wizja, e, oni mają e, chęć, żeby e, zro, dużo zrozumieć, pomagać e, i e, strasznie dużo energii. Uh, oni są po prostu uh, wspaniałe ludzi i, i, i ja jestem uh, bardzo wdzięczny, że mam taką uh, możliwość.